Omo eh, Peter Obi is indeed a talented man, you know. The way he spoke in a summit in London concerning Nigeria was amazing. Yesterday in London, at the Commonwealth Organized Trade and Investment Summit, he really spoke a lot. So guys, before I continue, if you are new to this channel, you are very much welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish any latest video. I will not fail to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing, guys. Without wasting any more time, let's proceed. In his word, he wrote... The event provided me the ample opportunity to elucidate how Africa is greatly endowed, being the second largest and second most populous continent of the world, and a continent of incredible riches, not just in terms of its natural resources, but also in human capital. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, a youthful and dynamic workforce, with the largest concentration of working age population of about 1.1 billion people, with an abundance of natural resources, ranging from mineral to over 874 million acres of arable land for agricultural revolution, Position Africa as a key player in the global economy, while every social economic sector in Africa presents MS potential and opportunities. I use just for sector technology, entertainment, natural resources, and agriculture to further illustrate the emerging opportunities of this great continent. I measure that Africa is not just catching up, but innovating its areas from FITECH financial technology solution that address financial inclusion to mobile technologies that leapfrog traditional infrastructure. For instance, 40% of gold and 90% of chromium the richest country in the world in terms of mineral and natural resources is the Democratic Republic of Congo with an estimated value of over $24 trillion, including the largest deposit of cotton. The same studies show that with agriculture at the core of Africa economy transformation, the continent has the potential to become a global agricultural powerhouse and a net exporter of food. However, this can only be achieved if the right combination of policy is implemented. I have always measured that Nigeria can earn more from agriculture than from oil if we invest in vast uncultivated lands in the north. However, even with the immense potential and opportunities in Africa, many challenges remain. Related to the widespread leadership failure in the continent, Africa is home to many people living in extreme poverty and multidimensional poverty. Despite these challenges, there is a growing belief that Africa can be on the course of a major transformation with the opportunities that abound if the right reforms are pursued. I urge the Commonwealth with its long years of experience in political leadership in Africa to partner and support Africa to instill accountable and responsible political leadership, which has remained the most critical requirement for the harnessing of the immense opportunity in Africa for the benefit of Africa, the Commonwealth and the global economy I remain hopeful for a new Africa and a new Nigeria. P.O. Wow. This man is indeed a great person. He does not really care only about himself. He cares about others. What is said in this summit really makes me to be happy with him. He is not that selfish. When you listen to what he said, he said it for the benefit of everyone. I call it to him, he wants the betterment of Nigeria. In fact, Africa as a whole. What a man. 
so guys what do you really think about this please leave your comments in the comment section of this video and if you have any contribution kindly leave it in the comment section of this video as well and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell icon to get notified on time whenever i publish any latest video this is light news media guys i will see you in the next video